Hello everybody! I'm so excited to be doing this video today because these videos are so fun to watch. I love watching them. I know they're kind of controversial and stuff, so I need to do my disclaimer before starting it because some of you might get offended because this is books I hate. I know, hate is a big word. Some of them are really hatred, like I hate them and I cannot stand them. Some of them are just books I don't like. It's just, it, it wasn't for me. If your uh, favorite book is in there and you really, really like it, well, we all have opinions and that's the beauty of it. Let's get started. So the first two books, I don't actually have the physical copy of them. It's Match by Ali Kondi. I know a lot of people either love it or hate it. I really hated it. To be honest, I was first starting to really like get into reading when I read this and I was watching like if you like this, you like that and basically um, it was like a dystopian book like Hunger Games and Divergent for my life and when I saw that Matched was a book compared to that in a dystopian world, I bought it. This book was the most boring book I've ever read. It was actually so hard getting through it. I feel like the book, I think it was like 400 pages, but it could have been 20 to get the idea around the world and around the characters. I really didn't care for the characters. I really didn't like the world. It was like there's a hundred things, like a hundred poems, a hundred na na na, and people cannot um, write and stuff, and I really didn't enjoy the world, and I didn't enjoy the fact that people were matched together to be with each other, I don't know, I really didn't like the world, so I really dislike this book. People say that it gets, it gets worse, so I will never ever finish this trilogy, and I really really don't like the book. Then the next book is Survive the Night by Daniel Vega. I got it on my Kindle and actually I do like Daniel Vega. She's kind of a guilty pleasure of mine. I like her Merciless. I think it's a trilogy now. I like those. Um, really like <laughs> disgusting to read. Like you read them and you're like you have to stop looking at the book and stop reading because it's like so gross. Like the details are like I decided to pick up our other novel, which is Survive Tonight. I hate it. <laughs> Honestly, I was reading it, I was like, what the hell? It is about monsters living in like subways, and it's just, it was so bad. I hated this book. I just, yet again, I didn't care for the characters, even though they all like freaking died. I, I thought the concept was really cool at first, like Survive the Night and stuff, but no, honestly, it was really, really bad. I didn't like it. I didn't like uh, the writing. She has uh, a really, really simple writing, which sometimes is okay, but not in this book. I, I don't know. This book had nothing I liked, so I really disliked this book. I hated Teardrop by Lauren Kate. Honestly, I, I really didn't care for it. This was the first book I read completely in English. It is the most beautiful cover ever, but they did a cover change that is terrible. Like, um, I really didn't care again for the character, for the world, for what happened into it. I really don't remember anything that happened into it. It wasn't good, so I wouldn't recommend this book, but I would recommend the uh, Fallen series by her. Next up, I have Girl Online by Zoe Sack. It is the same story, it's just the writing is really, really childish, and the fact that it was a ghostwriter who um, wrote it is like, <laughs> like the characters. I thought Penny was really childish and just like, yeah, I like the fact that it kind of deals with anxiety, but I, I didn't like the way that it dealt with it. Um, I think I'm a little too mature to like these books now. It is a really like, I feel like maybe I would have liked it at like 12 years old. I will definitely not continue with the trilogy. Honestly, I was so excited for this book, but I really, really didn't enjoy it. I read The Siren by Lauren Kate and I really didn't enjoy it. I didn't like the characters. <laughs> I didn't really like the story, the plot, just 
I didn't enjoy this book as much as I thought I would. And yet again, I think Carrie Cass has a, a certain type of writing that is good for like um, younger audience. But this book is like for um, more of a YA audience and I feel like it's a little too um, juvenile for me. Now I feel like the pace wasn't good enough. I don't know, I really, really didn't like this. This will be a surprise for a lot of people. I used to love this trilogy. Well, it was a duology at the time, but the third book came out this year. You might know what I'm talking about now. Okay, I hate To All the Boys I've Loved Before trilogy. Now, don't hate me for that, but I really, really dislike these books. I reread them this month and I was like, why did I give these books 5 out of 5 stars? I hate them so much. I hate Lara Jean, but with like this like really, really intense hatred. I think she's so annoying, yet again, so juvenile. She sounds like she's 12, but she's supposed to be 16. So immature she i hate her it's just i really didn't like reading from a point of view and it's like reading from a point of view for like 900 pages it's it it and like this trilogy i think it is nothing happens the premise is really good it's like a girl who each time she has a crush she, well she writes a letter to the boys she's loved and then she never sends them she just put it in a hat box but then one day they're all sent and it could have been amazing but this book is really not good. It's just, ugh, it, it's, it's really bad. I don't love the characters. I don't like Peter. I don't like Josh. I like her dad. I don't love Kitty. I, Laura Jean is this really, like, white, privileged girl that has this amazing life that nothing happens and it's nothing deep. And, and also, I feel like Laura Jean has this uh, really bad relationship with the sex. All of the books, she always talks about sex, but in such an unhealthy way that I think it's really not good for young teenage girls to read about it because it makes sex sound like it's a bad thing. If you want me to do a review for this trilogy, just comment down below, but I really, really don't like Tell the Boys I've Loved Before. Uh, last year, I read The Summer I Turned Pretty, just the first book, because I was liking Burn for Burn, and I was like, okay, I'm gonna read this. But honestly, I really didn't like it. I, it was not the same thing as this one. It was better, but it's just I really didn't care for the characters. I I feel like the it went like a movie, but nothing happened. It's like this girl goes to a beach house, and then there was two boys that she likes, and it's just their story of how they live together, and just like. I really didn't like it. I don't think there's something special about this book or nothing happens <laughs> for the whole book. So that's why I didn't love it. So many chapters, which is something that annoys me. Like when it's a 300 pages book and that there is like 44 chapters, it's like crazy. I like when things go deep and yes, it, it deals with physical sicknesses and yeah, that was like the great part of it I guess but like the relationship I didn't really like then the next one is a book I really hate it is Brief by Abby Glenz it is the first book in the Seabreeze series I don't know I thought I would like it but I hated it <laughs> so this is a contemporary new adult book so I thought maybe it would have been it would be more in my cup of tea we have both Sadie who's 17 years old and she deals with a lot of crap like her mom is like She's pregnant and she's just really a mess and she has to go work for her and then she goes to this mansion and to um, be like a maid or something and then she meets this really cool rock star and then they fall like for each other but like it was so cliche, so stereotypical. I think I like better Abby Glines with like Until Friday Nights or YA books because there are some sex scenes inside of these books. Out of place. It's just like taking a book that is YA and putting sex scenes and saying that it's a new adult book because of the sex. It, I didn't like the sex scenes. Like I think some people do them really well. Like for example, I really like... Uh, Sarah J. Mass's sex scenes. Like, these were out of place. 
like at a theater or something and it, I don't know I really didn't like that and I kind of dislike this book very very much and then the last book might have some controversy yet again 13 reasons why by Jay Asher I didn't hate this book I just disliked it uh, to be honest it is yet again a one sitting book a really really fast paced book I think the TV show is way better because this is basically like if you've watched the show and you're like contemplating on reading this book I wouldn't read it if I were you maybe you would like it but it's basically just um, Clay receiving the tapes and listening to them in one night there wasn't like um, interaction with other members um, there is not really the other uh, people that were on the tape in this book um, honestly it was just clay listening to the to the tapes at different parts at different like places of the map and yes it is fast paced because of that it's basically just a guy listening to tapes and that's it I you don't see what it did on the family you don't see what it did uh, to the school you don't see what it did to uh, people around uh, living with this the school um, student it's just it's basically just clay listening to the tapes I hope I didn't offend you and if I offended you just comment down below what you think about the book I disliked and maybe we can have a really civilized conversation about it because I would like to know your point of views about it so thank you so much for watching don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and comment and yeah I'll see you in my next video goodbye